Uh, yeah, I hope that you're hearing me. Uh-huh. This is the future, all about cybersecurity. Talking about the hackers, I'm just trying to warn you. From the one and only legend, the cyber informer. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is the cyber reformer. Uh, this is the cyber reformer. Let's go. It's time for the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect Central Coast How To Video. I'm Michael Trimblett, the Cyber Informer, and today we'll be talking about setting up a multi-factor authentication variant called Mobile One-Time Passwords. The Essential 8's Multi-Factor Authentication Maturity Level 3 dictates that multi-factor authentication must be set up on any remote access products. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and use Mobile One-Time Passwords on a Draytech Virtual Private Network connection. Let's go. What is multi-factor authentication? We won't recap this again now. If you want to know more about multi-factor authentication, watch the setup multi-factor authentication in Microsoft 365, or how to set up multi-factor authentication on Facebook, or Essential 8 Topic 1 multi-factor authentication videos. What are one-time passwords? They do exactly what they're named for one-time use only. This means the password frequently changes. How does this work? One-time passwords require two things, a non-changing key and another input, typically a PIN number. The PIN is fed into an algorithm which combines the PIN and the key and outputs a fixed length value. The output becomes the password. Typically, the temporary password expires after 30, 60, 120 or 240 seconds. It's time for a propeller hat zone. We'll be talking about the mathematics of the one-time password. It won't get too heavy, but there are a couple of new concepts in this section. This will be rated one propeller hat out of five. This is the algorithm. Yeah, it looks pretty complex. Ultimately, what we see is that we have a pin number supplied by the user, a secret key which is an arbitrary byte string which doesn't change and must remain private. It requires a counter or time represented as the number of seconds from all zeros UTC on January 1st, 1970, which is called Unix or Epoch time. The mod 10 at the end is just modulus to 10 digits and the TOTP value is the resulting one-time password. TOTP stands for time-based one-time password. This is how we visualize the algorithm. This is an accurate example. For that time, with that pin, with that secret key, you get that output. We can see the counter is the time in seconds since January 1st, 1970. We supply the pin, which is 1234. The secret key is set up on the mobile device and on the router. More about this soon. The output is the password that the user must provide to access the VPN, and it needs to be entered before the password expires. Let's do the math on the result. The result is a six character mix of hexadecimal numbers and letters. Hexadecimal characters are zero to nine and A to F. Six letters plus 10 numbers means the formula is 16 to the power of six, which equals 16.7 million combinations. This password will update every 10 seconds. Assuming all 16 million passwords are used, it will take 5.32 years to cycle through all of them. All right, let's exit the propeller hat zone. Let's now see how this works in practice. First, what we're gonna do is download the apps from the app stores. So we'll go to Google Play and Apple's App Store. And on Android, we're going to type in Droid OTP. And we'll install that. On the iPhone, we'll go to IMOTP. And we'll install that. Now that it's installed, we'll see it on the main screen of the iPhone. And we'll put it on the main screen of the Android phone. When you open it up, it just tells you that there are no profiles available at the moment. That's good. We're going to set up a new profile a little bit later on. Let's have a look at the settings within the Draytech. I've already created a VPN account. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it so that it has mobile one-time passwords enabled. We're going to set a pin and we're going to set a secret. In this case, we're going to do four ones for the pin and 16 ones for the secret. For the secret, it needs to be as long and as random as we possibly can. The Draytech allows you to have a secret key of 16 to 32 hexadecimal characters. So like we've done in the past, we'll head over to grc.com passwords and we'll have it generate a password for us. We'll select 32 characters from the hexadecimal random password we see on the screen. And we'll copy and paste that into our secret key for that user. We won't be doing that in this case, because it takes way too long to type in 32 random characters into the phone for demonstration purposes. 
You'll see what I mean shortly. Okay, let's go back to our phones and we'll open up the apps on both of them. We'll hit the plus sign and we're going to enter in a profile name for this one. We'll call it the Cyber Informer. You'll see the options there, but the four digit pin is ticked and then we need to initialize the secret. The four digit pin will be the four ones that we entered in before and the secret will be the 16 ones that we entered in before. Remember that in real life, the 16 ones should actually be 16 to 32 random hexadecimal characters. So we'll set up the same profile over on the Android, remembering that we have the four digit pin and we'll initialize the secret. Sorry, it went blurry there, but we'll initialize that secret with the same code, the 16 ones. So it's now the same on both phones. We'll now hide the secret, which means that no one can actually look at that secret when they go into the app, which is a good security measure just in case the phone falls into the wrong hands. What we can now do is enter our pin. Remember our pin was just four ones. So we're going to do four ones on the Android and we'll do four ones on the iPhone. We can see that the same code is generated on both phones. And this is your one-time password. We'll now use that one-time password to log into the Draytech VPN. Now I've already configured the Draytech VPN client with the Cyber Informer profile. So all we need to do now is hit connect. Then we'll take the generated one-time password and enter it into the password field. Then we'll hit OK. We'll see it thinks about it for a moment. And now it says that we're connected. When we open up the client again, we'll have a look and we can see the information about the VPN connection. And if we have a look at the Draytech routers configuration, we can see the green writing there, which means that there's an active VPN connection. We'll disconnect and now we'll generate a new one-time password on our phones and we'll connect in with that. We'll put our pin in, which is all the ones. We can see the numbers are exactly the same. We'll type in that password, click OK, and we'll see that it now reconnects to the VPN. So all we were doing here is generating passwords for ourselves and using them each time we log in. This means it's a unique password every single time we log in. A hacker will be unable to guess your password, which adds an extra layer of security when accessing your systems remotely. What did we learn? We learned a new authentication technology called one-time password. We know what hexadecimal characters consist of. We learned what epoch time is. We saw how to set up and use one-time passwords on a Draytech VPN connection. We saw this is a variant of time-based multi-factor authentication. Thank you for joining me for a look at setting up a Draytech VPN using one-time passwords. Don't forget you can contact me via email, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Also check out the podcast on Spotify, Deezer, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and where all good podcasts are found. Search and subscribe to Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect Central Coast of Podcast. Until next time, stay safe online. Oh, yeah. This is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers, you going down like, oh, yeah. This is the Cyber Reformer. Hackers, you going down, yeah.